Hi, Scott. Hi, Amanda. So it seems like season one might like, just dropped, or, or, what, last September? And now we already have a season two. I wondered if that was always the plan. I got, a, I got news for you, Amanda. They don't ask me about anything like that. <laughs> so I was surprised that we were dropping so soon, too. But I'm really glad uh, that we are because, you know, it felt like an eternity before season one got out there. So, you know, I'm super proud of this show. I, I, I think people are going to like it. I, I, I hope so. So, yeah, I'm all for getting it out there uh, for people to see it. So I know in season one, we got some Easter eggs, like, you know, we saw Blue the dinosaur and the gyrospheres and even the research facility, which was only like a sign from the first film. Mm -hmm. um, so what, what in this new season, what kind of Easter eggs will we see? Oh, well, I'm not going to tell you what they oh. are, but <laughs> no. I will say that they're there. Uh, that, um, you know, we like, we like doing whatever we can do to tie our show into the overall fabric of the Jurassic universe. We definitely do. However, we don't want to overdo it. You know, uh, there are times that we've gone like, okay, that maybe that's a little too fun. Like we, you know, it's not all about that, but, but they're there for people, the eagle eye folks who are looking. The, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll not just one little hint, one, one little. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, can't do it, though. But, but they, uh, there, there's, pl there's plenty, uh, there's plenty on the way. All right. Well, thank you. I'll keep a sure. lookout. Keep a lookout, Amanda. So I noticed you had a little acting credit when it came in the series. Can you tell us about that and how that came about? Um, what, uh, <laughs> I've done a little voice acting, uh, and we, uh, in episode four, it's actually the first, uh, the first park worker who gets eaten. Um, we had one of our regular cast voice the character, and when we were in the mix, we just thought it sounded too much like, uh, too much like the character. So it was only a couple lines. So actually at our, our, our mixing studio, Sound Rebels, we actually went into a room and they set up a microphone and you know, there was all these approvals to get and everything. But anyway, I just uh, recorded it and uh, no one seemed to notice. So that was all I was hoping for. Oh, so wow. yes, that's how that, that was not, it was a last minute change, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it ended up working out. And I get to say I was the first person to get killed in the show. So yeah, fun. <laughs> I know you answered this before, but I would really love to ask again to have the, the footage on my YouTube channel. But sure. I wanted to know, you know, your inspiration for making this and also, you know, how did you keep it kid friendly when it's literally about man eating dinosaurs? Yeah, you know, uh, as far as the first one, you know, it, it's hard being a kid uh, and in normal times. Uh, and so right now, the inspiration for making this more than anything is if we can, in animation or any kids TV, if you can give kids sort of a, an escape into this world of dinosaurs or, or uh, to be empowered to, yes, I'm not gonna, they can, it, our kids ex succeed because they are kids, not in spite of being kids. And I think that's an important distinction to make. And we really want to get that, that feeling out there that kids together can succeed and in a lot of cases do better than the generation that came before. Oh, good, because I really wanted to get this question in. Oh, it was about, yes. Well, no, it was about, you know, how did you keep it kid friendly when the show was literally about the man eating dinosaurs? You know, um, it, it's a balancing act and it's something I don't know if we, if I have like a, like an exact answer for you. We didn't want there to be gore. We didn't want to have gratuitous violence, but we also didn't want to shy away from legitimate scares and legitimate worry for, is everyone going to be okay? Because everyone isn't okay. 
So um, it's sort of this balancing act that you have to do. And, and you know, we, uh, we all tried to, to do that. But we, and we really wanted to keep the stakes as real as they can be, which is why I say, parents, if you have younger kids, watch the show first and then see if it's right for your kid. Thank you so much, Scott. You bet.